So this is a question I get asked a lot. Is my seat supposed to be this uncomfortable? The short answer is no, but many riders put up with a lot of pain and numbness. Numbness is bad, people. At the risk of sounding trite, numbness tells you that the nerves down there are being pressed on. And you don't want to press on those because stuff can stop working right if you keep doing that. So where's the first place to start? You have to understand the pelvis. Let's just get it out of the way. The pelvis is really complex. Not to mention that it houses pretty much all of our parts for garbage disposal, pleasure, and procreation, just to name a few. But even the bones of the pelvic area are complex. This is called a netter. It's an illustrated guide to our anatomy, and it's a work of art. It's something that I use all the time as a PT. Every twist and turn of a peripheral nerve, every recurrent artery, every random insertion of a ligament is documented here. It's named after the guy who drew the whole thing. Take a look at the pelvis. Imagine trying to draw a 3D representation of this. And this is what it looks like from the front. It's also made up of three different bones, and I know it doesn't look like it, but they're fused together. These are called the ilium, the ischium, and the pubic bone. What we really want to look at is down here. These are commonly known as our sit bones, or ischial tuberosities. They're basically the area in black there. Here's what they look like from behind. Now let's go back to that side view. That pink area, that's called our ischial rami, and that's where we actually sit when we're on the bike. We only sit on our sit bones when we're sitting straight up in a chair most of the time. The more aggressive our position is, the further forward we sit on these bones. We might sit here on a mountain bike position, and here on an aggressive road or time trial position. Because of the shape of the pelvis, the bones get narrower, and that's the key to understanding saddle comfort. Every rider has their own optimal pelvic posture, and so my pelvis and your pelvis have different mechanics. Overall flexibility plays a major role, but there are many other factors like lumbar mobility, trunk strength, arm length, shoulder girdle stability, and hamstring length, among many others. So let's look at this from the ground up, or from the saddle up. The pelvis will rest on the saddle at a given angle, factor in a flexible spine and long arms, and it'll determine our handlebar position. Maybe the rider has shorter arms. We'll have to make adjustments to the handlebar position then. Remove that flexible spine for a not so flexible version, and things change drastically. Maybe their hamstrings are tight, allowing more upright pelvic posture. We can keep making substitutions because there's as many variations as there are riders in the world. That's really what it's all about. For saddle comfort, the bars must be placed correctly. Furthermore, your pelvic angle needs to match up with where you rest on the saddle, as well as the type of saddle that you're on. Let's look at this view of a saddle from the side and the top. If you have an upright pelvic posture, you should be contacting the saddle towards the back in the wider portion of the saddle. If you have a, your bar out of position, your pelvis will get drawn forward, and the angle or tilt is unlikely to change. And now the wider portion of your pelvis will make contact with the narrower section of the saddle. <coughs> Numbness and pain will follow. Often, riders will feel like they have to keep scooting back on the saddle. Slide forward, scoot back, slide forward, scoot back. And this can also lead to more pressure on your hands, which shows up as hand numbness and or shoulder and neck pain. To better illustrate this, here's some cool bike fit technology stuff. These are pressure graphs of how a rider is weighting their saddle. Low pressure is blues to greens, high pressure is yellows to reds. This is a before and after of the same rider after a one and a half centimeter change in their bar reach. That's about half an inch. Putting the bar in the right position resulted in them being able to match their pelvic posture to the correct part of the saddle, and their numbness and discomfort disappeared. So get things done right, pay attention to your pelvic posture, and match your bar position to it. Your naughty bits will thank you.